Greetings fellow barbarians. I'm going to tell you a little bit of how to make your nerfed 3.0 thralls a little stronger using the mod thralls are alive. So in the previous video uh, I did show you how to set it all up so uh, I'll skip the building part and go straight to the point. First uh, you need to go to admin mode and then you take yourself to a bed any bed will do, it will activate the system for all current beds placed out and the coming ones until you turn it off. Hold the E key, go to leadership, go to debug and settings. Right click to make the wheel menu disappear and turn on the enable XP and exhaustion. Uh, exhaustion make your uh, thralls tired and this is how much um, it will cost uh, how tired they will get from doing each and every one of the idols uh, patrolling or training although idol actually gains uh, rest as do sleeping and down below we have the actual training itself so we have strength agility vitality and even though it's called accuracy here it is actually grit survival xp i do not know what that means i don't know if it does anything uh, i have these values currently set to 10 uh, because i don't want them to get uh, boosted all the way up too quickly uh, for immersion reasons anyway when you have all these set to your liking and you can go in and change it at any, any given time of course save and close now the training system is activated. Uh, each and every one of your thralls, uh, they come out from the Wheel of Pain at level 0 and they have set values to their attributes from the get-go. Let's see if we have somebody here who isn't level 20 yet. Uh, here we go, level 0. Now she's got 8 points strength, she's got 22 agility, and why does she have 22 agility? Well, because I trained her in it. Uh, but then she has only 8 points vitality and she has 4 points in grit. And this is how she came out from the Wheel of Pain, with the exception of agility. Uh, so what I can do now is I can add another 10 points to each of these, as I have done. So she had an original agility of 12, uh, but she is now 22 at level zero uh, very useful i must say uh, so i can add another 10 points to her vitality and her grit and her strength and i will do this through the boot camp uh, so the boot camp itself mm. uh, i have set up four stations one for each attribute and so uh, the strengths will have uh, a flag of its own and I named it strength so I can keep track of it in the officer's journal or officer's desk and this one is then set to a radius of small uh, so that I don't accidentally get um, other uh, training stations or things for this particular flag and for strength you need to use the uh, training dummy the melee dummy even my tiger is here now, and even though he looks stupid not having any animations, he is getting the benefits from doing the strength training. He just stands there, looks a little corny, but that's okay. Mm. I have done four stations, each one built up the exact same way. Another training beacon, I name it for what it does, in this case it's grit, and it contains four grit carpets. So again, initialize, put the radius to small. And here we have the vitality. Uh, it is gained well, uh, by the thralls using the, uh, the training mat. Uh, and the beacon is called vitality. I have renamed it and set the range for, little, uh, for small. And last but not least, we have the agility. Uh, the one that is called archery, uh, or <laughs> not archery, accuracy. Uh, but it will do the agility on them. So I have a couple of training targets for that. And its own flag, and it's called agility. From here, when it's all set and done, I can now tell the thralls which one of their attributes to train. And I'm going to go to my officer's desk because it has a much bigger range than the officer's journal. And it lets me see all of them, even the ones that have their sleeping places a little bit far away, such as the tiger. <clears throat> In the officer's desk, here you, will, uh, you can see what they are currently training at and how they are doing by clicking the magnifying glass. Now the tiger, he is currently strength 7 and he has um, accomplished this by doing the training. As seen, I have already trained his vitality and his grit to a maximum of 10 points. Now once he is done with his strength training, I will simply click here. And this will tell you the names of those training flags. And this is the reason why I named, they named them so simple. So when he is done with all his strength training, when his 7 here is a 10, I will have him started on agility, simply by switching this to uh, agility. 
Mm. And then I hit the apply. He will now switch and go out to the archery targets. He will still look stupid because he's tiger, but he will get the benefits. Uh, for the moment, however, he shall keep on doing his strength training. And as soon as you hit the apply, it comes into effect immediately. So if you're fast enough, you can actually go out there and you can see your thrall move from the strength training to the agility training or whatever. And so you keep doing this with all your thralls until they are uh, complete. Now, if we look here at uh, Dancer, Denise, the girl I showed you in the barracks, uh, she's the one that has 22 uh, agility, and here's the reason why. Agility was the first thing I trained on her, so she got another 10 points straight off the bat at level 0. Uh, so she now has 22 instead of 12. She is currently doing the strength training, uh, which will bring her total strength up to whatever she had from the start, plus 10. Uh, and then when she's done with that, I will switch her, as, so she will do in vitality, and then she will do great. Uh, and so on and so forth. So it's very simple and straightforward once you have all the menus done uh, and know what to do with it all. Uh, and all it requires is a bed, uh, you turn on the AXP and exhaustion system, uh, make your stations and uh, <coughs> simply move them around between the stations until they're all done. As an example, I got a cannibal brute uh, from a Darfari town somewhere and she had 644 life when she came out of the Wheel of Pain because her, her vitality was set to zero. Uh, she was set to train, uh, I believe it was strength and agility from the beginning. Uh, so she had zero, 640 hit points uh, with that. I put her in the boot camp and still at level zero, uh, her character level zero, when she got to vitality 10, she all of a sudden had 1,400 vitality, 1,400 hit points at level zero, which is, almost three times of what she had from the beginning so it's definitely worth it and it's, it is uh, fun to see the result and of course it's quite enjoyable to see them all running around and doing stuff <coughs> all of this thanks to Thralter Alive and uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy